Hello and welcome back. I am doing a book haul for November and December and January because your girl didn't have time to do one. I have probably like 30-ish books here. Some of them are Stephen King, some of them are it's a good mix and it's got Christmas presents wrapped in there too. So let's begin. I got the sequel to The Archived, The Unbound, which I'm hoping eventually we'll have a third book. This one's kind of beat up. I got it at a library book sale, but I'm excited to read this. I don't know what it's about, but I got The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. I have no idea what this is about, but I've heard it's super good and everyone talks about it on booktube. So I decided I might as well get it. It was only $2. My December pick for Book of the Month was The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor, or Tudor, but this is a thriller. I'm super excited about reading this. Then I also got My Lady Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jodie Meadows. This is like a retelling of Lady Jane Grey, but it's with like, I heard there's a talking horse. And this one was like an uppercase edition, so it's actually signed by the authors best dollar I've ever spent. And then for free from my library I got a really cool edition of Oliver Twist by Charles Dick. It's super old. I don't think it even has an ISBN but it's a cool edition and it doesn't come with a dust jacket or anything. I'm excited to have another classic on my bookshelf. My husband who knows I love Immortal Instruments got me the 10 year anniversary edition of City of Bones. It has fan art inside of Clary and then like of Jace. It's really cool. I'm super excited to reread it and maybe even read this edition instead of my paperbacks back here. So I'm super excited I got that. And then another book I got is Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine. Um, it takes place during World War II and I'm super excited. I'm hoping to read this soon. I've been like in this weird thriller mood, but I want to get into like some historical fiction again. And then from the library, I got The Sword of Shannara Trilogy by Terry Brooks. It's the first three books in the series all found up in one. This thing is super heavy. You could take out a small child with it. It's like over a thousand pages. It's almost 1,200 pages. I will eventually read this and enjoy it. I got Welcome to Night Vale by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Reiner. Um, my friend was like saying it was really cool and it goes really well with the podcast that I want to start listening to. So I'm excited to read this. It's got a really cool no Dutch jacket needed cover and there's flies on the inside. I'm excited to read this. Super sci-fi. And then now onto the hardback Stephen King book. I got Dolores Claiborne by Stephen King. I, I seriously don't know what this one's about, but I got it for two dollars. So, and then I went to the library book sale and I got The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon for a dollar. I like that it's a short novella and hopefully I can get to this soon. And then I also got Bazaar of Bad Dreams by Stephen King. This is a collection of short stories that was recently uh, published. Um, I actually borrowed this from the library like a long time ago and got like, like four or five of the stories and I really liked it. And then I got Bag of Bones. I think this is like a love story or something like that. Oh, a haunted love story. So we'll see how that works out. And then I got Hearts in Atlantis as well. I don't know what anything any of these are about, just an FYI. I know there's a movie with Anthony, Anthony Hopkins of this one, so I got it in the original hardcover edition, which is super awesome. So there's that. And then I got this super awesome edition of The Shining, like it's the OG cover, like, from when it was first published. Like, it's, like, tattered and torn, but, you know, when I'm reading it, I take off the dust jacket anyway, 
but it's super cool. It's like leather. Like you know it's OG if it's got leather. And it's got deckled edges and all that stuff and I'm so excited to own a copy of this. So now I can read this and then read Doctor Sleep immediately afterwards. And then one last Stephen King hardback is Dreamcatcher. I have no idea what this is about but I did read the dust jacket flap that says I should read Insomnia and Leslie's story I think before reading this because they have characters that pop up in this that are from those two stories which should be really easy because I own both of them. Those are all the hardback I got. <laughs> I got a bunch of paperbacks so I will just start chugging along here. I got The Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence. It's the first book of the Broken Empire. So I don't know what it's about, but I've heard about Mark Lawrence. It happened to be at the library where I volunteer, so I just grabbed it. Like that was the only mass market. The rest are all traditional trade paperbacks. Oh, I have one arc as well. This is a thriller, of course. Good Me, Bad Me by Eileen Land. I have no idea what it's about, which is kind of cool. It says, an intensely compelling exploration of nature versus nature nurture wrapped up in a page turning psychological thriller, which is cool. Now, back to my scheduled program here. I got The Nest by Cynthia something Sweeney. I'm not gonna mispronounce that. I heard some good things and hopefully I can read this soon. I got it for 50 cents. And then I went to an, a different library in the area and got The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini, which I own A Thousand Flitted Sons. So now I have both and I can re just read both of them. I believe they tie together. I don't, I'm not sure. And then I also picked up The Bookshop on the Corner by Jenny Colgan. Colgan? I wanted to read The Little Beach Street bakery so I'll try this first see if I like it if I do I'll grab another one of her books it's like a big fluffy read which is good and then for Christmas as well I got the Bang Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson it ties into the Mortal Instruments and Infernal Devices trilogy so I figure now I can actually read these in between the two two or three remaining books I have left and I also got a picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde they happen to have this really cool edition and I was super excited. It's super pretty. Look. It's super pretty. And since I'm in a thriller mood, I got Little Black Lies by Sandra Locke. It's like a doctor thing. Like a doctor mystery. Which is pretty awesome. And then the Stephen King paperback I got is Under the Dome. It's all one. Every time I'd go to the used bookstore, it would be in two pieces. And I don't want to pay $4 for each. Stephen King, can you write shorter books? Because... This is massive. And then I also got Vicious by V.E. Schwab, which I'm excited to read because the sequel is coming out, I believe, soon. I figure I might as well get a head start and read the first one. And then I recently picked up The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. I heard a lot of good things about this book. I have started it in the past and like just stopped reading it because I started reading something else or it was Duke for the library or something. So I want to read this. If I like the first book, then I'll maybe try the second book from the library or something. And then I got Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I've heard mixed things about this series and I wanted to try it for myself. I have it as an ebook, but I want to be able to write in the actual book, like thoughts and ideas. And I got After Alice by Gregory McGuire. This is like an Alice in Wonderland retelling, I believe. I've never read anything by Gregory Maguire, but I'm intrigued. And then I got Noggin by John Corey Whaley. We all know I like John Corey Whaley. I've met him. He's really awesome and sweet. I'm excited to read this. And then I picked up The Shack by W.M. Paul Young, I believe. Or that means something else. I don't know. But I heard this is like an inspirational. Then I got Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I am super excited to read this since the new spin-off series started. I have no idea what it's about, but this might be one of the next things I read. The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. I know she just recently had a new book come out 
and I wanted to try something that's berry oriented as well. And I heard this one's actually better than the coldest girl in cold town. Yeah, coldest girl in cold town. So hopefully I'll like this. And then the last thing I got for Christmas was Layer of Dreams by Libba Bray. I've been waiting for the paperback of this to come out for so long. And I hate that they changed the cover because now it doesn't match the diviner. But if Libba Bray is at any of the book festivals I wind up going to this year, I'll be able to get it signed, which I'm super excited about. I've listened to most of this on audiobooks, so I'm still excited to read it. So that is all of the books I have acquired in the last three months, which isn't as bad as it has been. Like, like I was like reviewing some of the books I had like hauled before. 30 plus in one book haul for like one month is ridiculous. I've definitely slowed down. I'm doing this unread shelf project where I read all the books on my shelves. So I have a TBR jar, which is this cute cup here, and I will li link my TBR for February and January down below, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!